All right, so we're here with a ton of comic books in front of us. At, where are you from? I'm from uh, Northwest PA. And is there a, you have a store there? No, no. Shows? I'm, I'm a hobbyist, and I go by The Comic Book Nut. Nice. Do you have and a website or anything? Or? No, I, I started a Facebook page, but I didn't get it all the way active. And I need to get back into eBay again, you know, just to, you know, I have too much. Yeah. You know, at one point it was a real s severe addiction. It's still an addiction, just not as severe. Uh -huh. You know, because, you know, if it's a good price, I buy it. Because if I don't, yeah, I may not get it again. You're never going to see it again. And that's right. what kind of the state of comic books right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you might not sure. see them again if you don't, right. have, you don't get them right away. Right. You know. So what's your, uh, what's your favorite book? Um... I guess my absolute favorite character in general is the original motorcycle Ghost Rider. Oh, cool. You know, Silver Surfer is a close second. Um, I like the Submariner. You know, a lot of the main superheroes I like. You know, but, you know, I also like old stuff. That's like not superhero, just for either the artwork, you know, the colorization. You know, I love uh, the gold key painted covers mm -hmm. for the different old TV shows and stuff. Just the art, the artistry involved, you know, appeals to me. And it's tough because now a lot of people don't appreciate that, right? Especially with a lot of the books that are coming out now, sure. people don't appreciate the amount of effort that goes right. into it. And right. now with a lot of the digitalized things, it's yes. a lot easier sure. to produce them. Yes. But there still is. A oh yeah, there, there's high quality. Right. There's still guys that do <laughs> strict high quality painting, oil on canvas. You know, Alex Ross. He's one of those guys. You know, Frazetta years ago before he died. You know, the new guys, Greg Horn, I know he does pencil art, but then he digitally colors it, I believe. Mm -hmm. You know, so just, you know, it depends on what appeals to you. Yeah. So. Well, it's just really cool to actually see comic books at a comic book convention. Oh, yeah, sure. Right? I mean, it's kind of rare at this one, but we are right. stumbling into a few of them. Right. You got a great well, selection I mean, here. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I mean, this one's really more a pop culture convention than anything else. You know, it's only been in the last few years that they've started, you know, billing it as a Comic-Con. You know, and I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that there is no more Pittsburgh Comic Con. Right. It's now Wizard World Pittsburgh. Yeah. And again, it's more pop culture because it covers a wide variety of things. Mm -hmm. You know, when years ago it would be a room half this size and every person there was selling comic books. Right. So, I mean, it's, it's changed a lot in the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. You know, and I've only been collecting seriously about 25 or so. Have you been dealing for that long too? Oh, no. No? No. Just recently? I, just, I, I would, you know, trade, you know, or sell, you know, you know, buy sometimes, but just it all depended. But, you know, I, I got into doing the show because it was like, I got so much. If I keep buying, I'm never <laughs> going to get out from under it. So if I sell stuff, I buy less. Mm -hmm. Or buy know. more. Well, buy better. There you go. You know, upgrade everything up, yeah mm -hmm. and, and that's not really the biggest concern for me is you know the best possible condition just a good quality condition is yep. fine you know I don't have to have a, a perfect book you know and pay you know ten thousand dollars for it when I can have a very nice book and pay a thousand right you know so I mean that's that's not a big consideration for me. so do you read them all or does it go straight to straight to plastic no, no, no. I mean, I mean, for a while I was so addicted I was just buying and not reading, mm -hmm. you know. But I do try and read what I buy in general now because I try, you know. If I go to the book comic book store, I'm usually only buying five or six books, so I try to read them. Yeah. And I am getting into a lot more manga mm -hmm. and anime series in that, so I try and read the manga so that I understand a little better when I look at an anime, what's going on, what's changed. Yeah. You know, and it's it's a different format. Well, that's a good point too because so, a lot of people don't don't notice that in these new comic book movies and shows right. that are coming out if you read the books right. you have such a better understanding of the sure. characters especially when they throw those easter eggs in oh, yeah, you sure. get it and they do that for people right. like us that right. had read the comics and we understand right. these right. Right. Or, characters. or if they just change the premise altogether on certain things yeah you know like with thor ragnarok Ska'ar, the world that he ended up on, was not a technological world in such a sense as what they showed in the movie. Interesting. You know, it was more a uh, jungle, desert, you know, low technology in most areas, and only the major city had any technology. Hmm. You know. And that's so. stuff that you wouldn't have caught if you didn't read it. Right, right, right. Cool. So. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Sure. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you.